Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I am at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I have with me Gilles Garcia, who is the Senior Director, Business Lead for the Wide and Wireless Group at AMD. Gilles, it's great to catch up yet again, another year we're together. So AI and 6G are getting spoken about at uh, this year's MWC, as you know. But why do you think it is the case? And what is AMD's position in and offering for this area? So, uh, as you know, 6G, we, you have to start talking about something far in advance before it arrives. So everybody is seeing 6G arriving in the 2030, but we are the technology provider. We need to be ready by that time. And so that means that we're already engaging our technology platforms into proof of concept with large vendors in order to be ready when the standards will evolve and when people will look to deploy it. And we are expecting 6G proof of concept to be in the 2028, 20, 2027. 20, so which is, will be in advance compared to the 2030 deployment. So that's the reason why people are starting to talk about it. There is another reason why, which is the AI. And I think that we'll discuss more about the 6G and the AI together as well. The telco operators have deployed 5G, although not all SA yet, they're still struggling to get it all out. And it's already making a lot of noise. 6G is making a lot of noise already. And it's quite unusual, we're still rolling out the old technology, but what is your view about 6G from a market, content and timeline perspective? So 6G will be, should be, uh, 5G was supposed to be a breakthrough for the operator. And unfortunately, it seems that they are all deployed 5G. And again, SA, like you mentioned, is still on the deployment, but they are struggling to monetize the networks and to monetize the 5G. There is no killer apps. Let's be, let's be honest. There is no killer apps on the 5G. 6G promised is to be AI native. That will give two things to the operators. One is being better managing their networks, power wise, spectrum efficiency, being able to have SLAs that they can enforce and they can really deliver content to the right people and so monetize all of these and not only responding to something is proactively understanding the behavior of their people and being able with the artificial intelligence and mod, uh, machine learnings, being able to manage the things. So they, are, they need to be ready as well and to start thinking about what are the use cases and what is the cost expectation saving they could have going through AI, 6G, in the, even if it's seven years away. They need to have the structure in place and the use case in place so they can decide what will be required. Because 6G will not be transparent for them. It will require new radios, probably on the RAN, on the VRAN or core, it could be some adaptation, but that will be mainly software adaptation. We believe that hardware-wise, they could be available to cope with the early 6G with what they will have. But from the radio, it will be different radios. So we expect them to start moving first into the 6G AI in the uh, VRAN aspect and later on to move it uh, to the radio uh, AI. AMD is being seen as an innovative technology leader in the telco space for many years now. But tell me, what are you showing here at MWC 2024? So we are seeing 6G AI already. Can you believe that? So in fact, what we are showing here is a kind of Showing how our technology platforms is used by our ecosystem partners and what are the capabilities of these technology platforms. From the two-day 5G, where we are demonstrating open source based uh, VRAN applications, to new partners like Parallel Wireless and SRS, and Parallel Wireless that want to make a breakthrough into the into this L1 baseband stack and radios, SRS on the open source baseband stack as well. We are showing our technology for the radio and we have uh, new 16 new radios displayed in our, in our stand, 5G radios, open run, but we're also showing AI, but 6G AI capable systems. We are showing how our technology can already today make signal processing required for 6G radios in future and AI ML running into the same device. How then can this help the operators to manage the radios, the power, the spectrum efficiency, the pin cancellations, all those terms are, could be seen as technical, but they are all the things that will make the operators driving down the cost of their network and better managing it. 5G deployment is starting to slow down as we know in 2024, but what do you expect the positive drivers to actually be in 2024? So first of all, it's, so it's declining in some markets, but like you say, 5G SA 
is still on the infancy. There is probably only, not only a third of the 5G deployment that are already 5G SA. So there is still a long way to go. And we expect that when they are moving to 5G SA, the, they would like to increase the coverage of these, of the, of the 5G. So that we are still expecting deployments to continue at a lower pace, but to continue. We are also expecting to start having them looking at what can they do with AI in their current networks. And so that will also be a driver is how can AI help them today on their current 5G to be able to be more efficient because they would like to reduce their, their OPEX size. And we are also seeing them spending more time on how can they monetize their networks. And so, for example, next to me, we have a demonstration showing how they can go into the private retail space as a private operator to help them to make money on their networks. That, that's as simple as that. That's what they're all wanting to do, make some money on their networks, yeah. on the networks. Look, after the $15 billion AT&T announcement, what do you expect the impact to be on Open RAN? So first of all, that's giving finally the big credibility that Open RAN is looking for. Again, up to now, the large tier ones were on the fence. They were a little bit saying, yes, I'm going, but I'm not going, but I will be in and I will not be in. So here that's creating the, the, the big ooh -la, la that we're all expecting and seeing, saying this technology will be here for the long run. So of course it will take time. Those large deals are not going from a Friday night to a Monday morning. So it will take several years, these to mature, but that's a big endorsement for the open run technology, meaning that you can disaggregate, disaggregate the hardware and software and different vendors playing together. Well, that's a lot of ooh -la, la we're looking forward to in 2024. Gilles, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks so much. No, thank you, Tony. Thank you.